Back in high school, one of my classmates was really unattractive, but girls were obsessed with him. They were eating out of his hand like pigeons because he treated them badly and used the oldest and most reliable technique to cause psychological obsession, unpredictable rewards. Let's see how it works and what he was doing. Harvard psychologist Skinner set up an experiment with a seed dispenser in a cage for pigeons. He trained them to expect that every time they pecked a button, they'd get a seed. This is called constant rewards. Peck the button, get food. Peck it again, get another seed. The pigeons figured out how it worked and only pecked the button when they were hungry. So far, so good. But then Skinner made a change. He reprogrammed the button. Now, pressing it was like flipping a coin. Sometimes it gave food, sometimes it didn't. Maybe you pressed it once and nothing happened, pressed it again and still nothing, but on the third try, you'd get a seed. What he found was that the pigeons started behaving obsessively. They no longer pecked only when they were hungry. They pecked a lot more. Then Skinner took it further. He made the button work less often. At first, it dispensed seeds every time, then one out of three times, then one out of ten. Each time, the pigeons had to work harder for their food, and each time, they became more obsessed. They'd peck the button like crazy, even when they weren't hungry. Eventually, he programmed the button to give food only 1% of the time, and the pigeons went completely nuts. They were pecking the button at a rate of 150 times per minute for 16 hours straight until they either dropped from exhaustion or died. What my ugly classmate did to those girls was eerily similar to what Skinner did to his pigeons. There are two key points here. First, no pigeon would obsess over a button that didn't work from the start. They wouldn't even bother with it. What drove them crazy was getting used to a button that worked reliably, only to have it stop working later. Similarly, no pretty girl would pay attention to an unattractive guy who treated her badly right from the beginning. But he didn't treat them badly at first. My cousin was one of his victims. At first, she'd say she'd never give him the time of day, but he was consistent. Every day, he'd bring her a little gift. Sometimes, he'd visit her at home. He always sent her a goodnight message. She got used to his constant attention, and at first, she wasn't interested in him at all. But then, one day, the goodnight message didn't come. That was the first time she went to bed thinking about him. Just like Skinner changed the button so it stopped working and drove the pigeons to obsess over it, my classmate started changing his behavior little by little. He gave her less attention and my cousin started to go crazy. She couldn't understand why he was being less attentive. Sometimes he'd forget to say goodnight, or he'd stop visiting her class to leave her a little gift. She didn't understand why her dispenser of attention wasn't working anymore. She used to act a little distant with him, but now she'd text him, and he'd take longer and longer to reply. Sometimes he'd leave her on red. Things kept getting worse and worse. She got more desperate, and he paid her less attention. I remember she cried and said, and the worst part is, he's so ugly. In the end, my cousin completely lost her mind. She'd text him even if he left her on red, and if he didn't reply, she'd call him. One time, she even went to his house. This beautiful girl, like all his ex-girlfriends and many other girls from my school, ended up acting like pigeons, obsessing over a button that used to work reliably, but gradually became unpredictable and then stopped working entirely. Now, these kinds of tricks do work, but only in the short term. 